The Duchy of the Archipelago was also known as the Duchy of Naxos, the Duchy of the Dodecanesos, and the Duchy of the Aegean. This is the coat of arms of the Sanudo family. The islands of the Aegean Sea were allotted to Venice via the partition of the Byzantine Empire in 1204. The Venetian government couldn't take over the islands themselves, so they left it to the citizenry in hopes that they would plan Venetian colonies and be on good terms with Venice. In 1207, Marco Sanudo, a wealthy Venetian, funded a flotilla of eight galleys and took the main islands of the Cyclades, with only Naxos offering real resistance. Naxos was opposed to the Venetian filibuster as Genoese pirates occupied the Byzantine capital there before Marco Sanudo's arrival. Sanudo burned down his galleys so they would have to take the island or die. After a five-week siege, the castle surrendered. Taking 17 islands total with the aid of his compatriots, these companions were prominent Venetian ship owners and merchants who were already settled in the Aegean, such as in Crete. As such, they were capable administrators and influential businessmen. They soon received islands with Marco Sanudo keeping six prominent islands to himself. Note, some historians also think that Sanudo would have been unable to hold all the islands by himself, especially with raids done by the Byzantines and Licario the pirate. And thus he founded the Duchy of the Dodecanesos, or Duchy of the Twelve Islands, soon bearing the title Duke of the Archipelago given by Henry of Constantinople. Despite Marco Sanudo being a Venetian, he had no intentions of being under Venetian suzerainty and being merely a governor for the Republic. He was in fact loyal to the Latin Emperor Henry. One account notes Duke Marco Sanudo as being by the deathbed of Emperor Henry when he died. Now in 1212, the Cretans revolted against the Venetian Duke of Candia. Under the leadership of Hagio Stephanitae, Tipolo summoned Duke Marco for aid and promised 30 knights fees. Another account states that he was promised vast lands in Crete as a reward at the time of the sale of the island to Venice. Either way, he came with many men and stamped out the rebellion. However, when Tipolo delayed his end of the bargain, Marco Sanudo followed the suggestion of a Cretan archon named Scordili, being to take the island with the help of the Greeks. Soon Candia was theirs. Duke Tipolo had to escape to Temenos, dressed as a woman. Marco left his relative Stefano in charge while he set out with his Greek and Italian army to conquer the other forts of the island. But this was cut short by the arrival of Venetian reinforcements from Fair Havens. Marco had to hide in a cave while Duke Tipolo fortified a position in Upper Sivriti, modern-day Mari. Duke Tipolo took back Candia via a bloodless coup de main. Though Marco still controlled the castle of Belvedere and all the district from Milopotamos to Cape Spada, he surrendered seeing further resistance was futile. The terms of surrender were that he surrendered the seven castles he still held, and he would receive 2,500 hyperperi, and from the land he would take 3,000 bushels of corn and 2,000 of oats. The 20 Greek archons who assisted in the rebellion would be allowed to leave with all their property. Sanudo himself promised to never set foot upon the island again unless Duke Tipolo summoned him for aid. In 1213, he returned to Naxos. This, though, didn't temper his fervor as soon he fitted out eight galleys and took to the coast of Asia Minor. He took Smyrna, but the fleet of Nicaean Emperor Theodore Lascaris defeated and captured Duke Sanudo. However, Marco Sanudo made an impression on the emperor and soon the emperor liberated him and even gave Marco Sanudo his sister in marriage. Marriages today don't really compare. In 1227, Duke Marco Sanudo died. His son and successor Angelo, despite having a Greek mother, was loyal to the Latin Empire. He 
aided in the defense of Constantinople against the Greeks of the Empire of Nicaea in 1236. He led alongside Geoffrey II of Achaea. Out of gratitude to the Prince of Achaea, the Latin Emperor granted them the suzerainty over Naxos. While occasionally contested by Venice, Naxos was now a vassal of the Principality of Achaea. Now, the Duchy of Naxos had helped the Latin Empire, which angered the Emperor of Nicaea, so he took the island of Amorgos and gave it to Jeremia Gysi, a Venetian family related to the Sanudo who held eight islands. They were more loyal to Venice than the Sanudo family. Duke Angelo's reign ended in 1262. This was a year after the Byzantine Empire was re-established in 1261 by the Empire of Nicaea after the reconquest of Constantinople. It's very interesting to see the ambitions of Duke Marco Sanudo, to see his successes and failures since the islands of the Aegean Sea are so small and relatively insignificant in the modern day. So to see the duchy hold its own amongst its larger neighbors in such turbulent times is impressive.